When I first started in manufacturing and uh, moved to a different building, I got a locker assignment and could not find that locker. Um, so after I had gone back to security to uh, try to figure out what I was missing um, and the guy's face turned really red and uh, he realized that they had given me a, a men's locker room um, number when I had been looking in the women's locker room because that's what was written on my ID. So that is an example of something that happens pretty typically in the life of a, a non-binary and gender non-conforming person like myself. It's strange to try and just go through a regular day trying to do what everyone else is doing. I have I have documents to approve, I have protocols to execute, and uh, but mixed in with that, there is this extra task of uh, um, calming people's confusion. And calming might not be the right word, but you you find yourself making sure everybody else like doesn't feel bad about what they called you or or if they're I've had I've had meetings where people just like genuinely felt like they needed to understand which gender I was specifically so that they could address me as such um, and it's all it's, each experience is slightly different but I try my best in all of them just to make sure everyone feels like it's not a big deal because I don't really think it is um, people call me different pronouns um, very few people use gender neutral pronouns. I think the world is more comfortable picking one. Um, and I would say majority of the people I work with uh, definitely all, always call me female pronouns, even though outside of work, that's not really what I go by. Um, and I changed my name at work to uh, my nickname, which is SJ. And there's a lot of people still call me by my first name here because that's, you know, when HR puts in your information, it's your information. And I don't, I don't mind it at all. It's been, it's been fun to watch the different reactions to me changing my name on my email and uh, Skype and all those other areas. Um, some people switched without a thought and other people are really confused and it's been a little bit of everything, but it's, but it's all okay. Um, I always have the fear of feeling like I am causing trouble or creating issues or drawing attention to myself um, because I am outside of the normal binary that people are used to. And uh, I don't think they realize how many people truly are outside of that binary um, in the gender that they identify with and the mix of genders that they're born with. Um, we either, it's a, it's a range, so even scientifically it's a range, and uh, I don't think that our culture has quite caught up with that. So there's a lot of explaining yourself to people in those moments, which can be really great if it's a cool conversation or really uncomfortable if it's not. I hope one day we can stop making so many things about which of the two buckets you fit in when so many people don't fit in one of those. And I think all adults at some point in their life go through this time of balancing who you are and who you develop to be in your mind with your body. I think everyone goes through a level of that in their lives, especially through puberty, but for trans people and for gender non-conforming people, it can be incredibly difficult, especially when you try to explain that to someone and they're like, oh my gosh, this again, I just can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> I'm like, that's okay, you don't, you don't have to wrap your head around it because I'm still me. So my name is SJ, I am a parent and I am a partner and I love music and I am still trying to figure all of this out just like everyone else and
this is me.